What's, What's up, y'all? Yo? My name is Nick Rochelle. And I am Carla Rochelle, and we are a married couple. On this channel, we share our genuine reactions to some of the hottest content on YouTube. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, make sure you click that subscribe button. And if you want to join the membership to our channel and become one of our little freaks, hit the join button for exclusive perks. Without further ado, shout out to the members of our channel. All right, what is up y'all? How y'all doing? What's up y'all? Um, definitely want to uh, a reminder that I did just drop a new book titled Voices. Y'all, we have been getting really good reviews on it. Shout out yes. to the people who've been purchasing the story. When I tell y'all, it's like having entertainment on a go, like watching a TV show or listening to a TV show on the go. So it's definitely worth it. If you want to order your copy, visit nickandcarla.com slash freaks. Oh, and your sample you put out. So oh, and know. yeah, we did. I did also drop a sample so you can check it out just so you can see the quality, the sound effects, the voice acting and all of that. So yeah, definitely check it out. All right, babe, what are we reacting to today? All right, y'all. So today we're reacting to PJ Spot. Exotic fish, fish store, cheesecake factory, and sumos. Let's catch up. All right, y'all. It's been kind of a minute since we reacted to PJ Spot. Definitely <laughs> been looking forward to getting back to them and catching up to see what they've been uh, been getting into. So uh, before we get a reaction, do us a favor, hit the like button because it helps us grow. Let's go. What's popping? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? <laughs> good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, hold on, hold on. Sorry, sorry. Y'all, I just can I just say this really quick. <laughs> so I was setting everything up, you know, getting everything together, and my baby, she was like, "All right, Nick, you ready? You ready? I'm gonna get our drinks together." Which I got my drink, y'all. <laughs> Carla walked out that motherfucking room. I almost fell back. Fell back in the creative space. Y'all, I know she don't be liking the attention, but damn. <laughs> Woo -wee! Thank you, I baby. Just, I just had to get that out there. All right, let's get into Oh, sorry. I needed to make it big. Oh, my bad. I see my wife, but uh, okay, let's get into it. All right, PJ Spot, let go. Jesus Christ, my Lord and Savior. Jesus Christ. This is my little song. Uh, uh, welcome to our spot. Uh, when I'm with you, I swear time stop. We just gonna keep on dropping bangers till we on top. I swear you make up for all the time lost. So, we just left the VA. I had to go and get my uh, my cooch checked. I told her that I checked it thoroughly. <laughs> oh, Lord. You know, there was a going for that. I think I like needed you. a professional touch. Exactly. <laughs> I offered my assistance as well. <laughs> yeah, y'all, I had to go to the VA and get my woman, women's health uh, appointment taken care of along with some other little issues that I've been having. But, yeah, so that's over. All is well. And, uh... We had in her favorite, her favorite place in the whole world, besides being inside my wife's <laughs> fish place. Oh, I don't know if it's open though, but we're gonna see. Yeah, it's a little early. Be dope to see some exotic like, fish. I have this one fish, it's a porcupine puffer, and his name was Spike. And I've had Spike for quite some time. And I woke up and he was like on the bottom of the tank, like Aww. struggling to breathe. Aww. And then I look over and my fucking lionfish, I got a lionfish like as big as my head. I had three of them. This motherfucker is dead. So I think what? that they the lionfish lying? and the puffer fish got in a fight. Aww. And uh, they Definitely. ended up killing each other. Damn. But um, Spike was actually like my first saltwater fish. So. Dang. With the loss of the lionfish and the loss of the porcupine. And then not too long after that, I lost another lionfish. So I got one lionfish left. And I mean, they're massive. 
Damn, so, so be, what the hell was that lionfish doing while they was fighting? Because he was like, I'm going to stay back out of there. He was in the cut. I'm trying to keep my life. <laughs> The other one just died. I'm trying to go on, hang on up in here. I'm going to let them handle it. Damn. Damn. And then the little puffer just at the bottom of the tank. Damn. He said, I survived last. Uh, you see who dead, who died I'm first. I'm the last one dead. <laughs> <laughs> you see who died first. <laughs> because we have a 210-gallon uh, saltwater tank. But, um... With it's almost lot. like he lived just so you can see. You see who you see who yeah, died first. I'm though. the original. Yeah. <laughs> so those three fish, they were pretty massive fish. Big fish. Now the tank just looks empty. Uh -huh. so it's sad. So we need so, to get some more fish. Yeah. It's just wiggling a lot, maybe. I'm trying to secure it. It's like So yeah. That's where we're heading to go look at some fish. And saying we're gonna get any fish. Fish are expensive, especially saltwater. It's not just about the coral and the reef. That shit is expensive by itself. I mean, you can get a little ass rock like that for hundred and fifty dollars. So, uh, y'all, I'm so sorry. I'm trying to. Okay, guys, we have made it to our destination. We had to cut off some of that footage because everything was shaking. Like I said, we're improvising right now because our little camera hold. I mean, literally, just we just decided and literally to literally broke for the first time. Let me get this. Let me get this shit. It'd be like that. My, yeah, though. Y'all, I put I oiled my locks, and y'all see what's going on? Like a damn grease monkey. Yeah. But we're about to go inside Elegant Reef and see some fish and i guess we'll bring you guys along want to take them along you want to come sure <laughs> let's go I, I like shit that nobody would really even think that i like right so, um i agree i don't let's think people see. look at me and say oh she looks like a fish chick like that and she is definitely. but i am a massive exotic saltwater fish but i like predators i don't like um she like killers Ah, I clearly. Do, do people, so do people, I, when she said she like predators, it made me think of piranhas. Do, you, do people, have, do you know if people have tanks uh, with piranhas in it? Oh, I don't know. Comment below if that's a thing. I'm curious. Do people have fish tanks with piranhas in it? Do anybody in who watching us got some weird shit like that? Comment below. Because I want to know. And if you're on our Discord, I want you to post a picture because I want to see the shit. Or post a <laughs> video of you feeding them hoes. That'll be even more interesting. Yeah, I like predators. I like meat eaters. You know what I mean? One of those seaweed eaters who want motherfucking shrimp, colossal shrimp, muzzle, uh, crab, you know. Okay, y'all, we are here. <laughs> Elegant Reef, one of her favorite places. Let's go. So, let's go in and see if they have any new fish. I didn't even notice about me. Good morning. Good morning. Y'all yeah. see my baby looking real zaddyish? Show them what you got, babe. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, they're so pretty. Oh, last two seconds. Yeah. You don't think so? It's expensive dinner. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> pretty, though. Yeah, they got some things in here. Oh, God, that's so pretty. I want to see the fish. The fish. Can you see anything you like? That one. <laughs> oh, the dog face still over there chilling. It's badass. I wish I could show you guys. Oh, oh you see. can't. She can't oh, show us. Oh, so that must be a thing. Yeah. That's why I said I wonder if they can't show them. Oh, wow. Oh, the bad fish. The one I want. Oh, you can't show them. That's crazy. Let's see this shit. Let me show you the bad fish. Yes, yes. He's can't even see them. Beautiful fish. Two hundred and forty dollars. What? Hey, two hundred forty dollars. 
Cause that motherfucker about to live about he about to live a good amount of time. I wonder how long they live. He about to live about good well, twenty years. Well, not long if he getting in the tank fighting. And he ain't better not fighting that. <laughs> Shit, I would have had to resurrect them hoes and fighting to the death. <laughs> then you better get your ass back up. Talking about you finna die. Hell no, I spent three hundred dollars on your ass. Look how pretty it is, and they get massive too. Oh, so it's wow. I want to see a dory. <laughs> Wow. They're spinning around like Dory. Like they got a Harley Quinn test back there. You see the stripy ones. Oh, Nemo! Is that Nemo? <laughs> yeah, y'all. So. Which one? Yeah. The best? That's the king. This one, right? Yeah. That one's for us, though? Look at the king. Look at the king. I want her to get that Nemo fish and that one that kind of looked dumb like Dory spinning around in the circle. No, we're going to need him to do more than spin around in the damn circle. <laughs> he can stay there looking dumb. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, look at the dog face. He's up. Oh. Every day he just spit it. Uh, we came here last time and saw Show the... Show y'all the dog face yeah, real quick. Right, I got it, baby. Wow. This is the Ew. dog face puffer. Salt water. I like it. Yeah, me too. How much is the dog face? <sighs> the dog face is... Uh... And I thought I heard her say $600 for one fish. I remember when I first uh, started talking to Carla, she had her little fish tank. And you know, she took pretty good care of them little fish. I just thought they were just the most boringest pets you could I ever know. have. Though. I used to have a glowfish. I was like, these motherfuckers boring as hell. But I mean, I guess it's kind of interesting to look at. It was at. relaxing to me because I used to love the sound of the fish tank. So, um, and then all the little neon lights and the, you know, when you cut the lights off. So I thought it was really cute. Yeah. And, but yeah, Nick. Would you Nick, do another fish tank? Uh, probably not. Cause she still had to have the moments where she had to uh clean, clean them the hoes. Yeah. yeah, clean the hoe. Yeah, it's like now I've been so free. I don't think I would want to do it again. Yeah, the like, bunny is enough. Maybe if I had a tank and we was able to pay somebody to come clean that hoe. That part. Then I would get one. Maybe a huge. And now I know to get them fun, exciting fish. They got to be salt water. I know now. <laughs> Shout out to Pete. <laughs> I ain't know that. <laughs> oh, that's not bad. That's not bad. Mm -hmm. What? One fifty is bad. That is four hundred dollars. I figured it would be. Look at they got the Niger trigger over there. Mm -hmm. I can barely hear what they saying, but yes, I think I just heard something about twelve hundred dollars. You said you thought you heard six hundred. Yeah. I don't know what prices they saying, y'all, but it do sound high. <laughs> oh look. It looked like $4,000 in some of I ain't mistaken. $170. Yeah, $4,000. What kind of fish is that? I want to say it's a tame. I think both of these are tame. A uh, Nasso, Nasso? You see the, the, the razors on there? Mm -hmm. The orange? Mm -hmm. So, look at this one. If you look on this, at this tame right here, He's stealing. If you look at the orange little slits in the back of his tail right there. What the fuck wrong with him? They're like razors. That's how they protect themselves. Oh, wow. She hey, funny story. Because I did not know that fish had the capabilities of protecting themselves like that. I remember I was young. I was in church. And they took the kids on a fishing trip. And I caught me a fish. Really excited. And y'all, when we had them hanging, the first thing I tried to do was grab him with my hand to put him up. Y'all, when I tell y'all my entire hand it got stung, I was like, what the fuck? I did not know fish could do that. I just thought they was little slippery little things. Yeah. So, I mean, it's dope to know they got some type of way to protect themselves. Yeah. Good no. You go for that tail and, and she gonna cut your ass up. She would know. 
That fat fish is everything. Hmm? That fat fish is everything. That's a fish that I've been wanting. And it's $240. I've been wanting that fish for forever. Excuse me. Ooh, this is pretty. How's the best fish been since you guys have had it? Um, I think we just got it in yesterday, I believe. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How's your connect? Uh, I, I wasn't sure when they got it in, so I'm not sure what we have. Is it going to be doing that? Yeah, it's going to be doing that. Yeah, definitely. Thank you. Hey, gorgeous. Hey, gorgeous! Hey, beauty! It's so beautiful. Look what she does all day. She talks to these fish. I ain't gonna lie. I've fallen in love with them myself as well, so. Wait, look how pretty she is. She is pretty. How elegant she is. It is, um, sometimes what happen, like, for example, you may not be that into something, but then when you partner up with someone, it's like what they love, you begin to love it. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like, I don't know how big, well, you did have a little dog, but it's like certain <laughs> pets or animals that I've had, Carla just grew to just really love them. Yeah. Yeah, so that happens. Oh my gosh, she's gorgeous. Anyway, once we leave here, we're gonna go get something to eat sure and we'll be back sure to you guys. Okay. So, What's good? we left the fish store. Mm -hmm. We're right now at the... She's good, Catherine. <laughs> so, yeah, they had a dog face up in there, but, um, I mean, I'm, I like dog face, but I'm not, like, a true, huge dog face fan. So, she wanted to get them for me, but I'd rather, you know, look around and try to replace my lionfish. I mean, they're like a king of the sea, you know, when it comes to the... Uh, so what a fish to me. You know they want something big and vicious. They're not vicious. Well, they're not really vicious, but they can be. They're not vicious. Her damn fish is vicious. Why you gotta do her like that? Fuck that fish. Right. I'm gonna find something to eat that hoe. Stupid ass fish. <laughs> Can't have nothing in there because of that damn fish. Yo, she telling the guy that she wanna sell my fish. I'm not selling my fish. She's just a little bit territorial, but she's not mean. Stop. Stop. She's just territorial. Under exaggerating. Under exaggerating. Over exaggerating. <laughs> and tell them the truth. She's Anyways, the wife was hungry. We do have to hurry up and get home. Um, our other daughter has to go to work, and Sana is at the house still. She's doing much better. Mm -hmm. By the way, um, but we didn't even tell them. No, we didn't tell we didn't. you guys what's going on. Well, basically, Sanai, um, our youngest daughter, had uh, umbilical hernia. So, she had to have surgery. She had a surgery, what, last Thursday? Last Thursday. Don't be trying to steal my, my paper when I'm done telling people you did it. I'm glad she's doing better. Wait a minute. Let's see. All right, ready? Oh, my neck. Oh, my neck. Oh, my neck. Okay. Aww. I know. I know. He seems so Aww. good with kids. Y'all see y'all little baby. Aww. All right. No. Got her? Yep. And uh, she's been home all week. All week. Yeah. All week. Oh, my little bunny. The oh, first couple fun. of days she was like in some pain, but now it's just like she never even had surgery. So it's like, oh, Lord, we got to keep her over the weekend. And then Monday, we'll be shooting her ass back to school. 
I think she just ready to go back. She was like, Mommy, I wanna go to school. And I'm like, you're not going back to school to Monday because her incision is kind of like oozing a little bit. And her school is super dramatic, especially the nurse. So we sent her back to school. You already know what's gonna happen. They're gonna be calling us every five minutes telling us, stomach is oozing or you know, whatever. Thank you. And I am a Georgia Peach, by the way, just so you know. Yeah, are you from Georgia? I am. Damn, that look good. Oh, are you this yeah. or are you living? I live here now. Yeah, I was in the Air Force, so I was stationed, got stationed back here back in 2008. Then I moved around, for, they moved me around quite a bit, and now I'm back. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. I want to order the uh, shrimp scampi. Yeah. Can I get extra sauce on the side, like the candy sauce? And then uh, I want to order a um, an order of the um, Brussels sprouts. Is that going to come with the meal or before? With the meal. Let's go with the castellata. Castellata. I've never had it. I always get the chicken piccata when I come. I try to stick to what I know, especially when I'm hungry, because I get a little cranky if I don't like it. <laughs> But um, we'll go ahead and try that today. Can I get the extra sauce as well? Extra sauce on the side. Mm -hmm. And do you want to stick with the mashed potatoes in the asparagus? Yeah. Alright, sounds good. Alright, thank you. Uh, thank you. They so call we got our appetizer, guys. I know I got to have some. Show them some. Show them what we got. Can they see it? Can y'all see that? Yeah, we can see it, girl. Calamari. Mm. Calamari. So good. We love calamari. We do. I only like the rings though. I don't like the palms or you know, like the one that looks like the legs and shit, the head and all that. If it's not the calamari rings, I don't want it. Actually, we had some of this on our last video too. Mm -hmm. So if you haven't seen our last video, go check that out. I think like every day I'm learning something new about the whole Will and Jada, I mean the Will and Chris thing. Mm -hmm. And I'm kind of really disappointed in Jada right now. But that's just my personal opinion. Oh my. I still don't feel like Will is wrong. But I think when he got up there and did that speech and he was doing all that crying and you could just see he was emotional. Like she should have got up and went up there with him. I agree with that. That's what I'm thinking. As far as addressing it, you know, they address it, they address it. When they do address it, I am looking forward to her addressing it. I'd like to hear what she has to say about it. Mm -hmm. And I would like to see her be a little bit more. I think as far as all I heard so far, as far as the update is, and this is just me, I don't even know if it's all true, but she said she wanted the family to go on like a trip, a vacation or something like that to get away. Like, oh. that's as far as I heard. But oh. I ain't hear her really speak on it. All I know is um, I did see extra footage when after Will walked back from the, the smack, I saw Jada laughing and clapping her little hands. Well, <laughs> so I mean, I don't know. Like he rolled for her. She needs to be the same way. So I do agree with that. We do see eye to eye on that. I feel like he was very, very protective of her. And he saw that she was very um, hurt by that joke. So I definitely think that she should have gotten up when he got ready to walk on that stage. She should have gotten up and at least tried to grab him. Or once he had already I'm done so that, I told him, yeah. Thank you so much. Is there anything else we can add to you? Oh, no, that'd be all. I'll be right on back see if you need anything else. Thank you. I did leave this here for cheesecake purposes in case you want some. We got you. Thank you. Um, I feel like when he went up to accept his award and he got emotional, she should have gotten up out of her seat and went up there and consoled him, comforted him, and I think that she should have done something. Good. Yeah. I understand. I, I do feel like that's some bullshit. What they talking about they tried, to, they tried to make him leave and he didn't leave. I think that's some bullshit because y'all know damn well if they want you out of the Oscars, you're going to be out of the Oscars. They would have got you removed. Mm -hmm. I don't want to get too like far that. into it. I'm kind of tired of talking about it already. Mm -hmm. 
it was all right. I just feel like we'll see what she has to say about it. And I am looking forward to seeing what she has to say about it. But, Want some Georgia Beach? I mean, you do have your own personal one at home, but, you know. <laughs> yeah, the little one's healing up. I was so hungry. And she already know. When I get hungry, you gotta feed me. I'm definitely having a big girl, big girl moment. I can't believe that car. Big game, big game. Damn, I hold it. Dope. I don't know. It's crazy. Right when we decided to use it. Because we've been sitting in our car forever. Well, y'all wanted the vlog, right? Take <laughs> it. Her first time so, vlogging, so. so when it comes to vlogging, it's not that we don't want to, but we like our days are so busy. busy. It's hard to just pick up a camera and call ourselves like recording everything that we're doing. It's just yeah. it's hard. Way too hard. We we like doing so many different things that it's almost impossible. I feel like. I think when it comes to our vlogging channel, we've gotten to the point where <laughs> our life is so relaxed that I actually have to plan. I have to pre-plan shit for us to do to vlog. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Hey, we can multitask. We multitask all day. I think that's the problem. It's hard to add one more thing to the already list of 50 things that we're doing. Yeah. Are we trying to get most of it done before the kids get home from school? Mm -hmm. I do not like that bread right there. Mm -hmm. Pumpernickel. Pumpernickel? How's the sauce there? Oh, it's pretty good. Is it? You know, I like my sweetness, sir. Yeah, it's like... I like my sweet and salt. Salty. I'm a sweet and salty kind of girl. What I was going to say was, it's like we, um, you know, get up in the morning, get the kids off to school. Then we have to do our business stuff, you know, as far as our PJ's Body Shop. If you have not shopped with us, go ahead and do so. PJsBodyShop.com. Shop.com. Yeah. Oh, yeah. PJ's Body Definitely check them out. It's worth it. We love their smells. We love the quality. Definitely check it out if you're into body butters or whatever else they sell. She go the, to the website. The face scrub. I definitely love that face scrub. I use that religiously. Yes. <laughs> and it's time for baby. Love it. Love it. BodyShop.com, but anyways, with you know that has taken off way bigger than what we imagined it would be. Like we had big, I don't want to say big way hopes, bigger, you know, way quicker. Yeah, way yeah. quicker. I ain't gonna say yeah. You're right. We knew it was gonna go. Yeah, mm -hmm. I mean, I could tell. Like when I got it in the mail and I opened it up, I was like, "Whoa, this shit is." Legit. Legit, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> and it smells so good. It made me think about when they had them story times and uh, people was like, oh, uh, uh, Jock came down the stairs and she was smelling so good. I'm like, whoa, okay, I can see that. I can see it now. I can see it. It brought the story to life even more. I mean, they believe. Oh, no. Mm -mm. It's not product like that. Maybe the believe stand behind it, but... We gave ourselves a realistic amount of time that we thought mm -hmm. we Things were going to need before it just... Yeah, picked up. But surprise, surprise. Picked up really fast. Very. <laughs> Welcome to our spot. Mm -hmm. Here we go. It's very harder than usual. I don't like that bread. That's why I'm not really. I do, but it's harder than usual. So let me ask y'all something. Not to harp on the, the Will and Jada thing again, but I saw a lot of people. I'm gonna say a lot of people. I saw some people posting things about 
you know, her not looking like she had alopecia. And um, I don't think that's something that somebody would joke about. And she actually brought that up like years ago at the Red Table Talk. I think it was 2018. I don't know. I never seen it. I think it was about 2018. Way about, before this even happened. She talked I about it. anything about her having alopecia, so it was she, all a surprise to me. She talked about it at the Red Table uh, back in 2018. I want to say it was. People probably said that because... Um, usually when you see people with alopecia, they may have like the little, what is it? The scarring where you can see the balding happening. But I guess because her bald head didn't look as scarred up, people were saying she didn't have it. Yeah, but it's like, what angle are you looking at? Right. Because I remember when she talked about it, she did show like up in the center of her head. So you can't just say she don't look like she got alopecia. It's like nowadays people... You notice anytime something happened, people are always able, excuse me, to come up with some type of either conspiracy theory or, excuse me, discredit. Yeah, um, I don't like that. people and everything. It's kind of like with that Supreme, uh, the new judge, the black lady who's a judge for the Supreme Court. Now I'm starting to hear conspiracy theories about her, and it's like, no matter what's going on, I'm like, damn, can we just be happy that the black woman is just, you know, a part of the, the, the Supreme Court, you know? It's just always got to be something. Yeah. So, I don't know, but. But alopecia comes in different forms. Yeah. And what we did want to discuss were, was um, when a woman loses her hair, it does something to to a woman. Like when my hair came out, with my locks, I used to go ahead and you know uh, put myself in her shoes. You can tell them how distraught I was. I was so discouraged. I was so hurt. I was crying about my hair. I was ready to cut all of my locks off because the center of my so I dyed my locks, which y'all can see on the tips, like a dirty blonde. And I dyed it. Got it dyed. It was over process pretty much and my hair started breaking out at the roots not like my locks itself but at the roots so like i had this like tall spots all in the center of my head and the back of my head and it really really tore me down it made me feel like i was like i didn't want to go out in public i, I had to wear head wraps all the time which i love my head wraps but I don't want to have to wear them. I love her head wraps. She do. Um, but, so <laughs> but I don't want to have to wear them. I want to wear them because I want to wear them. I don't yeah. want to wear them because my hair is gone. So when a woman loses her hair, it, it's like a, almost like Samson with when his hair was cut, you know, in the Bible. Like, it does something to you. It really does. So I can imagine. I don't even lie like ever since and i don't know if i'm the only one because lately we've been kind of talking about alopecia and women losing their hair um on our channel and it seemed like ever since i don't know why i have moments like that where i get paranoid but it's like ever since we've had those conversations i'll have moments where i'm looking in the mirror like you know like kind of like trying to make sure like am i good or am i washing my hair and a little too 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 many extra uh uh, little, little balls come out my head. It's like I got <laughs> kind of paranoid after talking about that shit. I can see that. Yes. Oh, but yes. But I was just thinking because it's kind of like, like how she said, when a woman lose her hair, it's serious. I'm just kind of the same with me. Like, or masculine presenting women, no matter what type of woman you are. Shit, yeah. I guess men probably feel the same way too. Yes. That's why some men they have like those what do they call it like the when they do the weeps. comb the comb over where they be trying to comb over and cover up the bald spot yeah they don't like it's part of your image. I remember my daddy he used to always have like little curly hair or like long hair and then one day I showed up this is when I was really young and he was bald head and I was like what the fuck he had to cut that shit off. Yeah, that's what happened to a lot of men. Um, even my kids, their dad, um, he has a nice grade of hair, but he started getting the receding hairline. And he tried to hold on to it for the longest. Like safari. Yeah, and then finally he just decided to just start, just shave his head. But 
It's like at first he didn't want to. And Lil Safari, you know, that's Nicki Minaj ex. You know, he had the receipt in her line and he went to, um, what's it, Tiger's uh, hair. <laughs> Why you laughing? Because everybody <laughs> always refer to him the Nicki, as Nicki Minaj ex. I bet Nicki Minaj hate that. But he just hanging on to that little hair boy. He done went to uh, Tiger's doctor, whoever fixed his hair. And it's still, you still see that it got a little hint of receipt. It's still better probably than what it used to he be. Just, he don't want to let his shit go. He probably happy. He's like, I'm not well, letting my hair go. young, too. You know, and his head imagine? big as fuck. Can yeah, you imagine if he was bald. Oh, uh, let me tell y'all about my son. My son, when he was in high school, y'all, he got gray hair. And remember when my son used to dye his hair, and it was because he didn't. I guess he didn't want people. Because, you know, people insensitive when it come down to stuff like that. So they probably was making jokes. And then I told him, I said, it's fine. You can do it. I said, it, but eventually you're going to be like, I don't care. He'll be the type, your son, he'll be the type. You ever see them men where they still look young as hell in the face, but they had like that white, that silver fox. They call them silver oh, fox. Yeah. Your son will end up being like that when he probably get like a so. little, a little He's older. handsome. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All of the silent struggles and the personal moments that they have in their own home away from the cameras, where she might break down, you know? You don't know what people are going through in their own house. And it's just, it's heartbreaking. I don't know. It's crazy how judgmental people can be, but. Yeah. I completely forgot to mention too on the last video. The whole movie that Chris Rock did on women's hair, especially black women's hair. Mm -hmm. He did. He knew better. Yeah, mm -hmm. I saw some of that. He really did. That was one of the things that I couldn't understand too, is that you did a whole- Did you hear Chris Rock mama? She was like, she said, you know, when Will Swift came up there and he slapped Chris, he slapped all of us. <laughs> <laughs> and he slapped you, he slapped me, he slapped no, me, he and uh, Jay. He didn't slap me, he slapped Chris Ayers. She said he slapped all of us, y'all. No. He, <laughs> he probably slapped y'all whole motherfucking family. <laughs> bitch, he slapped me. <laughs> he on that, and then he decided to come and make a joke about it. <laughs> yes, he's a comedian. We get it. He's a comedian. That's what they do. Oh, no. You're fine. It's, it's like everybody get tired now. Did y'all see uh Mike Tyson on the airplane? Do 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 do. What the fuck was that? <laughs> she was punching the shit. It was this little annoying white dude sitting behind him. He was like Mike Tyson, Mike Tyson, 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 Mike, Mike, Mike Tyson. All of a sudden, we see videos of Mike Tyson putting his little uppercuts. <laughs> his little old man up he was, man, he was drilling his ass. He was like, do, 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 do. Like, you getting on my fucking nerves. And then, all, then afterwards, you see the white man who was annoying sitting. I think he had, like, blood on his forehead <laughs> like this. <laughs> Everybody get tired. Everybody. But I tell you one thing. Did you see that clip when uh, Mike Tyson was at a comedy show and a black dude showed up and he was just, like, going crazy and he whipped out a gun. Oh yeah. He was ready to start shooting, but Mike Tyson, he was calm then. Yeah. It's like people just be kinda knowing. Yeah. You know, some people. Oh, oh you too. Oh, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all wait a but um <laughs> what was I saying? The movie you made on here. Yeah, but um Hey, my train of thought is just going just that fast. He made a movie about black women too. He knew better. Yeah, again, like I was, there you go. Um, yes, he's a comedian. We get that. We understand that comedians make jokes. They, they're there to make you laugh and all that stuff. But in the grand scheme of things, this was the Oscars. This was not a comedy show. Oh, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Is that right, baby? Yeah, this was the Oscars. This wasn't a comedy show. So it's a difference between you going to a comedy show or something like that and them picking on the audience. We get it. But this was the Oscars. You know what I mean? They were sitting front and center in a room full of white people and y'all decide that y'all want to, you know, you decide that you want to make her the butt of your jokes again. Because this isn't the first time he's done that. Let's, let's say that.
Jack woke me up today. Ask me what I want to do for my birthday. Oh, it is, it is tourist season. Shout out to all the tourists. I'm seeing all of y'all celebrate y'all birthdays. Uh, Carla's daughter, Sierra, she's a tourist. So she's getting ready to celebrate her birthday. Shout out to all the tourists out there. She's a tourist, so her birthday is coming up this month. <laughs> gang, gang. Drop it in the comments. Gang, gang, 422, baby. Them bulls about to come through. There's some motherfucking right. I love my bull. Love her. <laughs> and I'm like, I don't do birthdays. I know that she likes to celebrate birthdays. I do. It's another year life. But I just don't care. I just, it's another day to me. I was never able to really celebrate my birthday like that when I was younger. Me either. Let me take that back. I did celebrate. My mom always had me a birthday party. Chuck E. Cheese. Or even at home, piñatas, kids, candy cake, candles, the whole nine yards. But I remember my dad always sitting in the background with a pitcher of beer. So by the end of the night, it was ruined. So I had to stop looking forward to it, you know? And that's how I kind of been with a lot of shit. Not just my birthday, but Christmas and... Anything that you're supposed to celebrate as a holiday, my dad would get drunk and ruin it. So, now that I have a family, I have to retrain myself to uh, reprogram. Yes. Retell your story, girl. You just place the sauce down and scoot it down. Thank you so much. That was quick. Thank you. You're welcome. Yes, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you, appreciate it. Thank you. My bad. But anyways, as I was saying, I just it wasn't something that I looked forward to, so. Now I got a wife that wants to celebrate my birthday every year and I'm just like, you know, I'm grateful every day that I wake up and my wife is here and I got life and I got hair and, you know, there's some days that I wake up and I just don't feel good, like yesterday and last night. I was sick all day yesterday and all last night, but I woke up okay today. So I think I'm just, um, I'm happy to be alive every day. I celebrate being married every day, um, you know. Being a mom is challenging, but you know, I celebrate being a mother every day. Every day we have to really the same thing, be moms and be wives, so. But she definitely woke me up this morning like, with all these ideas, well, I wanna do this, and I wanna do that, and I wanna do this. Cause I need to celebrate her. I mean, I didn't grow up celebrating my birthdays. Uh, we couldn't afford it. My mom had a bad habit that didn't allow her to be present. And uh, when she was present, she didn't have the money, so. Um, I didn't get my first birthday party until I was 16 years old. Um, my Aunt Tammy gave me my first birthday party. It was Aunt so, <laughs> you know, very heartfelt, super genuine. It really touched me. Um, that was my first birthday party that I ever had. Um, and she brought me a, a doll baby because I had never played with dolls. What the fuck is a doll baby? Anybody a baby doll, 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 doll. doll. A doll baby. Yes, it was a sip and slurp doll baby. And it was this little doll that okay. had a little cup and you put you the cup to it. call it doll baby? Yes, doll baby or baby doll. It's I've never thing. heard anybody call it a, a doll baby. baby. I've heard both. Oh I've my never God. heard any. Extra. <laughs> Y'all know well, what I'm She saying. makes fun of me and my accent almost daily, multiple <laughs> times a day. <laughs> hmm. Doll baby. Yes. Can I get some lemons? Oh, I got you. And hot sauce. And hot sauce. Tabasco, all right? That's fine. I'll be right on back with some lemons and Tabasco. Thank, Thank you, you so much. They never have hot sauce. Um, 
anyway, she brought me this doll baby. Tabasco. And that was my first birthday party. So I didn't even get to celebrate as a kid either. Um, very, very, I say hurtful. I hated seeing other people get celebrated and I just never had that. Um, I think that's why I feel like when it comes to her birthday, it's not so much of involving a bunch of people, but yeah, it's no. acknowledging it. Yeah. And even with this year with COVID, we didn't want to invite a bunch of people because COVID is, is still out here, still exists. We decided not to get the vaccine. Um, we didn't want a bunch of people in our homes, but I wanted some of the important people, the people that I've heard her speak of and that I know of, um, to be there and, and just to show her like, hey, we're here. And that's what it was, you know, and hey, and I thought I it was good. That. I had a good time. I mean, do I need two? I like this camera, this random, but I like this camera setup. It's almost like we're all at dinner with each other. They're sitting on that side and then we're sitting on the side, but we're not eating. <laughs> we're not eating though, that's the only thing. People are going to 15, 20 of my closest people and the most important people in my life. Mm -hmm. You know, really, to be honest with you, as much as we go through a day, it's very difficult balancing a parent life, a business, especially with five kids. Because mm -hmm. I don't even need 15 people. Thank you so much. There you go. Thank you. My, my idea of a good day is, is sleeping in, not being woken up. Um, chilling, relaxing, not stressing, not worrying about nothing. I love lemon. I know, I she thought I ate that lemon earlier. She uh, but she wants to get the fuck out of here. She's like, let's get the fuck out of Dodge. Yeah, let's go somewhere. I'm like, mm. we gotta pick these garlic loaves out of my food. My kids are supposed to be leaving one. for the summer. Mm -hmm. And I know once they're gone, our little mommy and will go down a little bit. <laughs> but if we try to take a trip now, she's definitely going to be worrying about the kids mm -hmm. and calling the kids. And I can't turn my phone off. I can't stand phones. And if we're going to fly somewhere just to have to be on the fucking phone, then I don't want to go. As much as I would like to enthuse y'all, you just don't get how difficult it is juggling the business, two businesses, five kids, everything we have to do on a regular, like, I don't even want to see a phone for my birthday. And I'm okay with that. You have uh, right. me to pack up a bag, get on a plane, and fly somewhere to have to sit here and be like, yeah. oh my God, they're calling the kids on in. Like, I'm not about to do that. <laughs> I don't want to. I'd rather wait until they meet with their, their other side of their family. And she knows in her mind they're good. We ain't got nothing to worry about. We ain't got to rush back. And we want to stay somewhere for some extra time and add some days change our flights, whatever we want to do, we can do that. You know, and they'll be gone the whole summer, so I'm talking like three months. But, you know, I don't want to take away from what she's trying to do either. I'm just real funny like that. Like, I don't like to be bothered. Ain't nobody going to be calling them kids every five minutes. But I definitely want to check on them. What kind of mother would I be if I didn't? I didn't say don't check on them. <laughs> Uh -huh. What I'm saying is they have a habit of calling her every fucking five minutes too. I'm not dealing with that shit. We're not leaving to go be dealing with that. If they don't call me every five minutes, because they already know I'll play that. Don't call my phone five, every five minutes. But they will call her phone. Mom, um, I was wondering Mommy. if next week we could get off my phone. <laughs> Mommy. Oh, We're just in mommy mode until summer. I think we had another friend of ours invited to Vegas mm -hmm. recently. 
Yeah, we can find a babysitter. Yeah, we can do all that, but... I want to enjoy the day. My time, we don't get away much. So when we do, I just wanna, I want it to be a good time. I don't like rushing to get ready. I like to plan. If we're gonna go somewhere, I wanna plan. So I can have all my ducks in a row, you know? Yeah, it's gonna hurt. Hurry, damn limit. Anyway, we're gonna finish eating and we'll chime back in with you guys when we leave the restaurant, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It just brought us the Godzilla. Ooh. And uh, we're gonna start sucking on this. Some right now. I definitely think I'm gonna need to catch an Uber. Hopefully they don't <laughs> tow our shit. Yeah, damn. That thing is huge, baby. It is. Look at this. Anyways, we'll take some more footage with you guys soon. We're at a table full of people. You know how it is when you go to the Hibachi restaurants. They put, you know, a couple of people there. But we're definitely here having our date night on a Friday night date night. But she's already trying to get me lit. I think she's trying to nail me. I think that's what she's trying to do. We'll get back with you guys soon though, okay? It is. Look at this. Like you can handle it by yourself? Can I handle it by myself? Mm -hmm. I can handle anything. Ooh. I can handle anything. this bathroom everybody about to get y'all coming for my wife <laughs> fucking kids is that all i had to say <sighs> look at the boots yeah. hanging out at that exotic fish place yes. um chatting it up with them <laughs> at uh that um what is that place called again um, the cheese factory, yeah, the cheese factory. factory i've never been to the cheesecake factory have you? i think we tried to go one time but the wait was too long hmm. yeah. yeah i've been there i think it's, i've been there twice hmm. it's yeah. like it, it it's straight but both times i went i didn't feel like it was all that hmm. Oh, well then, hey, well, I, I guess I ain't missing out. But, um, <laughs> but I do love the cheesecake. Yeah, so yeah. I really enjoyed the video. Nice catching up with them. Um, also, y'all, don't forget to go ahead and visit our bookstore, nickandcarla.com slash freaks. Check out our black erotic short stories. Definitely worth your time. If you enjoyed the reaction, hit the subscribe button. Also, like the video. We hope to catch y'all next time. Peace! Peace. We made this plan to meet up, it's 9-11, that's your number and I'm here to remind you. You don't really need a lot of motivation. Cause you know what it is, you know what it should be like. You never
I need it, they approve it on me, validation. You live it in your truth, only moment you feel it, that's why I'm tuning into your vibration.